In 2014, while I was writing a funny book about my father, my father died. As a result of my father's death, the story changed. What had been merely a funny book became something else, a eulogy. Funny, but sad. Sharing this book with the world helped me through my grieving process. And then I read my Amazon reviews and my grieving process was extended indefinitely. Superficial, a little disappointing. At least mine was a library book so I can return it. Mr. Key needs a new editor. It's actually Dr. Key. Big disappointment. Then the author gets married and the whole book goes downhill. When I, um, when I read that aloud to my wife, she went, I had the unique experience of meeting Mr. Key. Unfortunately, he was so condescending and egotistical that it was difficult to continue reading his book knowing what I know about him as a person. Not my favorite. I won't lie, I didn't finish it. Turn my stomach. Piece of crap about a boy who glorifies a child abuser and a weak mother who allows it to happen. If this is what passes for intelligent humor among our credentialed educators, our system is indeed broken. <sighs> Sad commentary on parenting. My first book went on to win the Thurber Prize for American Humor. The experience of writing a book that people loved and hated so deeply transformed my life beyond all comprehension. So I wrote another book about writing a book about the American dream. This book is called Congratulations, Who Are You Again? Read it. Review it. Tell Amazon how much you love it. My book comes out this November. It's better than you think it'll be.